wants more children, when does she want to fall pregnant next, and how light or heavy her period, and is it bothersome or not, and does she already have children or not, does she take any other uh, medication, and how good is she with taking a medication every single day. Um, and once, for example, if you have a 20-year-old woman with very heavy and very painful menstrual period who is not planning to fall pregnant for the next 5 to 10 years, who is in a long-term relationship, I would recommend a Mirina IUD or intrauterine device containing a progesterone to help with your heaviness of the period and pain during the period. Mirina may stop periods in about 70% of women. It will be very useful uh, from a blood loss perspective and just being improving quality of life during the menstrual period. Uh, and um, other options would be, for example, an implant, a, a little rod that is inserted into the arm and that lasts for three years. Mirina IUD lasts for five years. If a particular woman does not want any implants or devices inside of her body, then contraceptive cell would be suitable for her as well because it's likely to help with period pain and bleeding. Mm. For someone, yeah, someone for, who, for example, um, has mental health issues like depression and has a very light period, uh, copper T uh, or intrauterine device not containing any hormones would be a very good option because it's also long term for about five years. You know, it's very effective. Uh, it doesn't have any hormones to have any hormonal side effects. And the only disadvantage of uh, copper T or copper IUD is that it may make menstrual period a little bit heavier and a little bit more painful. Mm. I'd like to mention that majority of side effects caused by any contraceptive method settle down within about three to four months of usage. So your body kind of gets used to it and side effects slowly disappear. Yeah, okay. Uh, Dr. Novikova, I'm going to take a quick break. When we come back, I uh, want to take questions um, from people around contraceptives. I see a lot of them uh, that are coming through. So you can, if you prefer to give us a call on 011-8830702. Otherwise, I'll read some of your WhatsApp texts that have come through. What contraceptives do you and your partner use? And how effective are they? How are they treating you? I'd like to hear your experiences on that. 15 minutes before 12. 50th anniversary in five years. <laughs> yeah, she wants us to renew our vows in Fiji. Fiji? It's doable with a Net Bank Electronic Optimum Plus account. Yeah. We're talking an effective interest rate of up to 13.05%. Seriously? Yes, yeah, seriously. You could even bring your barber. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a bank that takes your money? Or a bank that takes your money choices seriously? Open a Net Bank Electronic Optimum Plus account today. See money differently. Net Bank. We're a licensed FSP and registered credit provider. Teas and C's apply. Our world changes with every major headline, but there's a special group of people dedicated to changing it, one child at a time, and we want to honor them. The 702 Teacher of the Year, recognizing teachers who help children solve more than equations, who turn virtual sessions into real-life lessons, who make even the little ones feel like big deals. Submit your nomination on 702.co.za and they could be our finalists for the month of September. The 702 Teacher of the Year. Because sometimes the biggest change makers are in the classroom. 702. Let's walk the talk. 702. Health and wellness. It's 13 minutes before 12 o'clock. Let's go straight to your questions around contraceptives. Uh, Dr. Novikova, I'll, I'll just read them to you one by one. Let's start with... At uh, this one, hey Clement, please can you ask the doctor about the dangers of using emergency contraception um, contraception pill the morning after pill more often? What are the dangers of that? Uh, the dangers of using morning after pill or uh, emergency contraception um, are actually very few. It's one of the safest 
have less glucose possibly found. The issue with it is that it can actually disturb menstrual cycle. Um, and uh, that, that would be a problem because women may develop irregular periods. But in terms of long-term side effects on the body or any kind of dangerous life threatening side effects, they are non-existent from morning after pill or emergency contraceptive. I'd like to mention that this type of contraceptive only works within 72 hours of uh, unprotected sexual encounter, and it may not be uh, as effective as other methods of contraception, and it doesn't work very well if ovulation already occurs. Other emergency contraceptive includes uh, actually copper T or intrauterine device, which can be inserted within five to seven days of unprotected intercourse. Okay, another question. Um, I used Depo for three months. It showed me flames. It was the first time using it. I had periods that were lasting the whole month. I gained weight and then I dropped it. Now I'm using a condom and the pull-out phenomena. I'm yet to explore the pill. Um, are those effective? And how effective is the pull-out phenomena? Is also part of the question. It's uh, not very effective. Uh, so it's suitable for women who are trying to avoid contraception, who are in long-term relationships, who don't mind falling pregnant. Okay. Another question here. Um, let's see. Hi, Clement. Please, can you ask the doctor if the contraceptive can be used to delay early start of menstruation in young girls like 9 or 10 years old? That's a message from Sally. Uh, it's, it's quite a complex question. Uh, and uh, it's not, I, I'm not able to answer it generally, uh, but you do not use contraceptives to delay uh, menstrual periods uh, in girls who are so young because there will be other effects on body mm. and uh, the girl has to develop uh, according to her natural hormonal levels with her natural hormones uh, before we start using any hormonal like contraceptive, which won't be used for contraception. It will be used for treatment of a particular condition. So we would need to, uh, to discuss it depending on what condition this child has. Okay. Please ask the doctor if I can, if I can use the patches to balance um, hormones. I have pigmentation, which I'm told it's because of the imbalance of hormones. A patches can be used to balance hormonal level and they may not help with uh, treatment of pigmentation. Uh, it has better effects on pigmentation than contraceptive pills like taken orally, which do cause pigmentation. We do know that even women who use intrauterine devices such as Marina,